Yo, what's up, Swole Bodies? Welcome back to another Hunter Hunter reaction. Today, it's another great day to be Swole Body. We are watching episode 119 of Hunter Hunter. Last time, 118, it was getting kind of insane. We saw Pikachu Kilua. We saw Shoot almost die. I mean, Knuckle, but Shoot too. <laughs> and E. Kalgo. A lot of people almost dying. A lot of things happening. Poof escape. A lot of things are happening in different perspectives. I'm excited. We're going to get into it. If you are new, new subscriber to get plus 10 gains. Just like E. Kalgo. Patreon, Twitch, second channel, all that in the description. I appreciate it. If you want to check that out. And let's get it. Why'd I say it like that? <laughs> All right. Kilua. My boy, Kilua, though. Oh, let's go. Bro, I'm so hyped for this. I'm so hyped. Dude, Kilua's been a G since we first saw him. And now he's Pikachu. Just me blowing off some steam. Oh, yeah, he was doing like. Look at his electricity. Look how dense. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, look how sick he looks. So last episode at the end, we just saw him uh, do that around his arms. Look at his hair. Oh, bro. Look at this dude. That is so cool. Two of my favorite power-ups in anime. I don't know what it is. It's just the coolness. It's when something happens in the eyes. It doesn't matter if it's actually power in their eyes but just like something changing in their eyes and the hair it could be because i because i like naruto and i like dragon ball and those are the two things that like show power or something it's just so cool look at his hair look at his hair it is bro his face his face almost changed or was it he got he got glowy bro that's so dope oh my god that's so cool let's go let's go his lighting is so much more thick than what it was in Green Island. And his hair? Oh, that's so cool. And it's like jagged like a like a like a lightning bolt. Look at he's got like a horse. Oh! Damn, what are you doing? Yo! Damn! <laughs> what is this is a violation? What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, he's I can't believe my eyes right now. He's out. Beating you, Hey, let me rewatch that. It's just, and he's electrifying him with every hit. <laughs> Dude, I'm so, what? Look at this badass. God speed. Damn. Damn, bro. This Kilo is definitely faster than Yuppie, but. Is this going to be enough, though? you be at no time to transform. Oh, my God. Electrical burden on his own body. Ugh. So, bro, just so his Zoldic background is probably has a lot to do. Probably has a lot to do with his ability to maintain that electricity, which we know it was in the first place. But it's just so much stronger. We haven't seen the progression at all. It went from just like little taser level to God speed. What? Damn! Bro, he's, he's getting so many hits in! Two different- Oh my- I cannot believe my eyes! Speed of lightning, which allows him to control his body at will. And whirlwind, which allowed his body to react automatically to his opponents. This man's got ultra instinct! Yo! Oh, he used that ability to stop the dart! Like, it was an instant, like, ultra instinct! Damn! Damn! He was actually in so many hits! What? It bypasses commands from his brain that transcend his own limits by relying on reflex. It is like ultra instinct. Damn! So he's, he's literally on ultra instinct level right now. Obviously, I'm not talking about power scaling and all that bullshit. If he was really on ultra instinct level, Goku, he would just destroy the earth or something, right? He's that powerful. Not going into that. People are going to take that out of context and be like, well, actually, his speed is just in the... I don't... It's just a comparison, bro. It ain't that deep. He's just bypassing. He's just going on straight reflexes. Similarly, okay? Similarly. I know there's still somebody with their panties in a wad talking about actually. You are wrong there. It ain't that deep. All these guys have less than 10%. 10% of my raw power. But can Kilua's speed. Bro, look at that dude. I like that blue aura. Damn. Whirlwind. <laughs> Profound. Oh, wait, 
Is he adapting the electricity? Why is why is he? Is that is that electricity just flowing through his body or is he adapting to it? It's weird. Make an unbelievable choice. The fuck? Oh, what happened? His god speed! Oh, I used it all up. Run, Kayla! Oh, man's is gone. What does Yuppie do now? But <laughs> Harry doesn't have anybody to fight. Oh, yeah, Maron came in clutch. Damn, he figured that out. Back to Ikago. Damn, Kilua's Godspeed came in like a damn wrecking ball. Super quick, out of nowhere, super powerful. Or not powerful, but I guess, yeah, it is speed. Super sick and then left as quickly as it came. Damn, that was so sick, though. Man, I want to see more of that Godspeed, bro. What? That was so... How did he use it all up? Does he have to store it or something? Bro, I wanted to see that. So we can't go make me able to get buddy buddy with bravada. The door is locked. <laughs> Look at this dude. Sleeping gas. Oh. Yeah, you should kill bravada in his sleep. Just kill him. He probably doesn't want to because technically, I guess they were comrades, but I don't think Bravado would second guess killing Ikago. Yeah, you gotta kill him. I really think so. Oh, then take over Bravado's corpse. True, yeah, that's right. So the bolts, that's so cool. He had never killed anybody. Oh. Oh! Oh yeah, he just shot right to the door. That's so true. He can't just do that. Yeah, nothing was stopping him from doing that. I don't know why I thought he'd just be stuck there. Oh, locking him in. I wonder if his guns can shoot through that wall. Cause I mean, if they're Nen guns, probably strong as fuck. Oh, that answers my question. <laughs> Man, this is a one trick pony. I really did not expect the shrimp to get this much watch time. Oh, now he's filling the whole room up. Hell yeah. Big brainy cargo. That's why his head's so big. To fit all that brain. Got his ass, baby. Yes, sir, Ikago. <laughs> oh, damn. Damn. He got away. Damn shrimp. He isn't trapped. What does he do? Oh, he'll sacrifice himself from not being able to get out. What is he doing with all these things? What is that? Is it is he gonna make a Molotov? Okay, Cargo. Let's go. I don't know what the fuck he's gonna do, but let's go. Okay. <laughs> Big brain. Oh, here comes the cargo. Okay. With the armored truck. Oh, he thinks he returned to the monitor monitor room. Oh wait, no. Oh yeah, so he is trapped in there. Damn. Oh, he thinks there's more than one. That's pretty logical, I guess. Okay, call go. What you got? What you got, baby? Oh, full speed. Okay. Tough armor. Okay. Let's go, Ikago. I blew out a track. Oh, Ikago has some sort of plan though, right? Oh, was it to cover up the elevator? Yeah, because I think the way that he could escape is if he held, just held his breath and just went up the elevator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now he's going to set, set that hole on fire? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, the smoke screen. Hey, he got out of there. Now the shrimp should be able to move the truck. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're really strong, right? The shrimps are really... The ants are really strong, especially with Ned. You should be able to move that. Oh, Ikago got out. Oh, yeah, because he's like a, he's an octopus, so he can fit through a bunch of small things. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Hell yeah. And he's out. Big brain Ikago, bruh. Yes, sir, baby. Victory. Hell yeah. Now I just have to kill him. Will he be able to kill him? Oh, can he do it? Point blank. Can he do it? Cap him. Cap him. Let's go. Get some bloody cargo. Catch your body. You got it, bro. You got it, bro. He would kill you easily. No regret. Do it. Ow. More just like a boom. Ow. 
Oh, this is kind of sad though. Oh no, he couldn't do it. Oh, he still escaped though. Okay, he still couldn't do it though. He should at least leave. I mean, me personally, it doesn't matter if it was another creature or another human. If I, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm saying this from being in a position where I've never been put in that position before. But if it was me or them, I'm choosing me. And if not me, I'm choosing my friends every single time over some random ass creature that would kill me and everybody who I love in a heartbeat for nothing. But then again, Ikago is really new to like having friends and being a human and shit. And I guess, and he, and he is really young. He's only a couple months old or a couple weeks old. So he doesn't have that much time to think about um consequences and life and death and shit like that i guess but i mean from where i stand i'm sure a lot of people agree with me too if it's you and your friends or some random guy or some random creature not even a human just some random shrimp i'm choosing me my friends this is sad for ikago i can see where he's coming from and i, and I feel for him but i wouldn't i wouldn't have any hesitation and I know I'm saying that from sitting in this chair with my anime back there in this comfy ass room, but I don't think I would have any hesitation knowing that they would kill me and they would kill my friends brutally too. Brutally as hell. I, I do feel bad for him though. Oh yeah, Poof just left. Poof just left. He just ain't there. Modal versus himself right now, literally. I'm pretty sure Poof left. Because you are good at what you do. Wait, Poof is in there? I thought he escaped. I thought Poof escaped like molecularly last episode or a couple episodes ago. Did they not? I thought he would like meant like went like microscopic level and went through the smoke or something. All right, well, good ass episode. Started off with Kilo's Godspeed. Damn. And then ended off with Ikago and his feels not being able to kill a creature. And then Modell versus Poof. So what do you guys see about that? I don't know what the hell Yuppie's gonna do because now he's alone with no allies and no enemies. The King and Netero are gone. Pito is gonna fight Golan. Poof is fighting Modell. What the hell is Yuppie gonna do? He doesn't have anything to do. He should leave and just go be his own person. But a really hype episode. I wanna see more of that Godspeed. I really hope we can see more. It did not last nowhere near as long as I wanted it to, but maybe you could even use that against Pito to help Golan out. Cause I think Golan's definitely gonna need some help. Cause this episode definitely did help remind that, yeah, Kilua can be sick. Yeah, Knuckle and Shoot can be sick. Maron can be sick. Gon can be sick. Every single person UPS face has not even come 10% of his power. That says a lot. And if you're not powerful enough, you can't kill him unless you bankrupt him or cheese him some different way or outspeed him. Kilua could probably take him out with his god speed if he had way more experience. He's a couple years older. He could 1v1 him and take him out just with sheer speed, electricity um and the surprise attack especially but i don't think that well, i don't think that right now i can 1v1 and win which kind of makes me think about gold can gold 1v1 pito and win and i think pito's I, I don't know about the power scaling but i think she's really really strong on the same level as up if not stronger so can gold be stronger than knuckle shoot kilua maron everybody combined in 1v1 pito just based off of sheer sheer rage maybe but i don't know what we're gonna see that's gonna be coming up hopefully relatively soon thank you so much for watching this hunter hunter reaction make sure you stay tuned episode 120 gonna get to it soon we're super close to the ending just a couple, a couple episodes left patreon social media is choice second channel all that in the description i appreciate it if you want to go check that out and uh take care and peace